I, I had the longest layoff in UFC. I was off for four years. Yeah. The knee? Yeah, but the return to sports like 10% chance if you do it a third time. So you would be like, at least the other day, it's just my elbow. I've got a couple more runs with that. <laughs> when I heard it was just a broken bone, I was like, oh yeah, oh, sweet. Oh God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. What do you not regret most in life? Uh, you got to say yeah, why. I think it happens. <laughs> <laughs> we cut out the word not. <laughs> what do you, you regret you... most in life? <laughs> my wife. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Welcome to uh, Marty and Michael, Fully Actual. With us today, we have former UFC fighter Tyson Pedro turned professional boxer. Tyson, welcome to our fucking weird, weird podcast. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> our interviews, are, we're pretty normal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, normal you, can't, you were normal we'll in the we, first we, one. We have got this drink west. It might. Yeah, we've, we've had, had a, a few, few of those. those. <laughs> they went down quicker. Yeah. yeah. No, no. It's it's go down yeah. well. I, I usually like one beer and I'm over it, but... So this is a not so bitter aftertaste. So I like it. No, I appreciate it, boys. Thank shit. you for having me on. No, so, mate, so pleasure. Drink West. Um, now, so for context, so we got James in. Obviously, today we're still in Sydney. Matt's um, at Wholesome, being a fucking slave to his company. <laughs> so um, we got James in today. Um, and yeah, like I said, we're in Sydney here. And so we met uh, you through Danny. Really, mm -hmm. uh, so Danny came to our podcast Royale fight. Met Danny and then um, he said we should come here and, and film a video with you. And that's what we did this morning. We filmed yeah. a video and I thought you were injured, so I'd be fine from you today. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. But then it was suggested that one of us takes a spinning back kick. from. I Tyson. think you actually Bro, suggested you it, it personally, Tyson. I, no, I, I, I think Danny. I think Danny <laughs> said it. No, I think Danny said it. But you ate that. You ate that. Dude, pretty, that like, was fucking rough. I felt yeah. like my rib cage, like – compressed like oh a, yeah man. you're a heavy human being and you came off the ground yeah dude man imagine dude, doing that that was hard i don't watch. know how you face i would not be able to face that like i would have snapped in half if that was me <laughs> yeah. yeah it would have been very funny that was the most important yeah. game of scissors paper rock of your life man. <laughs> well i ended up losing but i think the winner oh, winner wait, got no, it yeah daddy yeah. daddy flipped that up that was yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah the winner the winner gets it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh man Thank is that God. one of your favorite strikes to land i feel like that would be so nice yeah, to land fun. a clean spinning back kick yeah especially when they're uh like moving towards you you know how it jumped oh. in the air so yeah. it's like it allows you to spin quicker so you uh, like usually catch on the liver when they're stepping in oh, so. oh man that on yeah. the liver you the liver would explode yeah, yeah. oh yeah. man yeah. anyway so you're out you're done with ufc now yeah. So and and now you're onto boxing. So how how are you finding that? Is it so? Danny mentioned you've done you used, you used to do some fair bit of boxing, amateur boxing. Yeah, I started in amateur boxing when I was a kid. Uh, I actually like that was my first dream to go to the Olympics for boxing. So um, I sort of just like was doing UFC for my dad, you know, like yeah, he was yeah. forced to be, you know, like sort of people pleasing, sort of like, yeah, I'll make you right, proud, yeah. dad. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. just go to like the biggest thing in the world. Yeah, and, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you proud? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first time he said he was proud of me when I walked out uh, for the first fight. But yeah, now it's, um, it was, uh, it's uh, as well, I wanted to come back for my family. Like, you know, I've, I've been gone for 12 months in the last two and a half years. And my daughter's too now. Yeah. So uh, training at City Kickboxing and it's just getting a bit too much now for the baby. Mm. So I get to come back now, stay at home. You know, we just opened up my own gym around the corner from here. So it's uh, pretty exciting times, man. Yeah, that's awesome. So how, how's the, how do you reckon the training's different from like MMA to boxing? Do you reckon it's... Because it's only one discipline, really. Yeah. So, so what would you say? Would you say? Brain. What would you say? Would well, it? I've never done. I, <laughs> I thought you were going to say easier. Than <laughs> well, I, I, I would think that boxing, like, less to remember, right? Because mm. obviously you have to perfect multiple disciplines in MMA. In boxing, it's just boxing. Yeah, you have to perfect. It's been really fun because I like being a student of the game. But how I like look at it is like, uh, imagine like a triathlete then versing a marathon runner. Yeah, okay. You know, yeah. like they're yeah, going to be right. better at that one skill. Yeah, yeah. But you have multiple disciplines to learn. So maybe uh, jack of all trades, master of none, do you know, that yeah, sort yeah. of. So there's, uh, it's been fun though, because uh, like starting as a student again and like starting right at the grassroots and learning the details of it. 
I got an absolute hiding off of Jai Obatai on my first run. Dude, <laughs> like, well, he's oh my freak, god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's no, that's no surprise. <laughs> honestly, yeah. man, like, he's a scary human uh, so being. I, I woke up, I was sick in the morning, and then uh, we yeah. we had to drive to Central Coast, and it was like the worst day. And it's just not the day that you want to have a bad day. Oh, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> like no yeah. sleep the night before, and I was just like, I think my head touched my ass about like, twenty times. <laughs> oh, I was like one of those bobbleheads, oh, yeah. and I was just like, I thought I owed him money. Like I, yeah. Wow, so he's a hard yeah. sparrer. No, so it was just, I, um, it was just like I knew it was going to be hard spar, and it was fun. I did the second time I sparred Joy, but he was like four weeks out from his fight, so yeah. he was, <laughs> it was like, yeah. I, I remember I thought there was two people in there at one stage. Just like, cause it, so that's what's been fun as well because the distancing's different for MMA, uh, and obviously the variety of punches as well. Like a lot of the gap, when you're bridging the gap in MMA, it's like you usually it's coming down the middle. Whereas when they're so close with boxing, it's coming from so many angles, the punches yeah, yeah. and the variety of punches. So, yeah, that's been – and uh, I hate running and it's just all running, like <laughs> oh, so yeah. much running. <laughs> it's yeah. like my, I, my first week was 20Ks or something, I think, and like, yeah, it's just gone up from there. So what, What's the fitness like? Do you reckon different fitness, right? So yeah. with, with MMA, do you reckon like if you were – Fight cam for a box boxing fight, fight cam for an MMA fight, which yeah. do you reckon would be fitter? Uh, it's just a different fitness. So like, like the biggest things that I noticed was um, on the body, like MMA, there's more joints, more joints and like heavy on the body with wrestling. Mm. Whereas boxing was heavy on overuse of muscles, like the joints, are, um, like your shoulder joints and uh, maybe – like elbows, hands. It's just the overuse, like throwing yeah, right. so many punches, especially because I was going from three five-minute rounds to uh, yeah. <laughs> ten, yeah. ten, ten rounds. And I was yeah. like... Yeah. So much more energy. energy. But still, five minutes though, like I don't know how you got... Like that's fucked up. Like yeah, three true. minutes is like... Lasts forever. I feel. Yeah. Like five minutes is like... It seems like it's too much. Well, it's just different pacing as well. Uh, with boxing, it's a little bit, little bit more intense because you're so close, so you're always getting hit. Whereas with MMA, you know at any moment one one punch is a knockout. So you're yeah. sort of a bit more like – I know some people like are all in, but you're trying not to get as hit as much in MMA. It's like one shot, you're asleep. So Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You yeah. feel more confident that you're not going to get knocked out in boxing? Not necessarily. You get hit yeah. so much more. Like yeah, I like yeah. not getting hit, yeah. and then it's just part of the game. You get hit a lot more in boxing. So uh, – I've woken up with a few headaches for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which yeah. isn't nice. But uh, like, yeah, you know, it's just a completely different game. Yeah, was that with the UFC? Was it was it like a challenging decision to make? Because I, I feel like I wasn't the only one that when you did like take the gloves off, mm. I was like, shit, really now? Like, because I t like some of your performances leading up towards the end were f***ing epic, man. The one against the Swedish fighter, what was his name? Turka uh, Turkoj. Weird last name. Yeah, that's close. I think that was it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Man, you looked fucking yeah. like a world beater in that. So yeah. it was like it was a bit surprising when the retirement came. Yeah, uh, like I was, I sort of knew it after that fight. To be honest, mm. uh, like um, sort of uh, my wife, my wife after after that win, she was like, "It's weird, you've acted like you lost after this fight." And it was like my subconscious has already had checked out of the UFC. Like it was just getting a bit too much with family, with like the cost of traveling, the deductions, everything. I was just like, all right, this, like, it's not working out. So before that last fight, I had actually asked for a release from the UFC. For, mm. I had, but I had one more fight on my contract. So, uh -huh, right. so you wanted to get out of there before your last fight? Yeah, I was already home. I was, I knew I was mentally checked out. When you're like that, you don't want to be, fight, you don't want to be fighting in there. And then the UFC was like, "All right, you can fight in three weeks against this guy." <laughs> <laughs> he's got 12 knockouts <laughs> you want to leave you're gonna fucking leave <laughs> yeah, I, I, so they helped me out in a way i guess though like I thought, do you think otherwise, there was an element of that going on uh who knows like yeah. you know I, I don't know the ufc looked after me in a lot of ways so i'm not gonna speculate on what they did the, yeah that like they made it uh, and they helped me out with a lot of things so yeah, it is what it is uh, but also on the way out i was like well fuck you so i'm gonna beat him and then go but it is what it is. Mm. I, I know that like I was probably a bit more tentative than I would have been in any fight because I was like, if I end up in a highlight reel knockout, nothing afterwards is gonna. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, true. Yeah. So. Yeah. So UFC. What, what's it, what's the UFC like? Like, so a lot of people always say like, you know, UFC fighters don't get paid enough mm -hmm. unless you're like the very top. 
So yeah. what, what's is it? Was that and was there anything to do with yeah, that? Yeah, def- well? definitely paid. Like it, it, I wasn't badly paid. Like it's I was average paid for sure. Yeah. Like when you look at how much I was spending on camps, how much like some camps were costing me forty, fifty grand, and then plus how like, long does the camp go for? Uh, anywhere from eight to twelve weeks. Wow! Uh, yeah. Holy fuck! I yeah. guess yeah. Well, that's be everything, right? Yeah, that car accommodation, that, and then that then then that, uh, that doesn't include your um like you have to pay ten percent to your gym, the gym that you train at, of your fight pay. Then you got fifteen percent manager fees. Then you've got uh, bringing your corner over. Sometimes bringing my corner over would be twenty grand, like when yeah. you got three, because you have to pay for two oh, of yeah, your corners. Sure. You have to two pay of, four. Yes. Oh, yeah. Only pay for yeah, one. Dude, well, you think about it, like even that fucking thing we did. That was probably like twenty. Yeah, and then and okay. we didn't have to pay for for Tom and Bill either. That probably would have gotten up there as well. Then if you fight in America, you get yeah, taxed exactly. by IRS. Then you get taxed by Australia. When you get back, you have to claim it back. So you're, oh you're, man, you're you're not looking at very much money by the yeah. end of it. Yeah, <laughs> wow. So, so uh, yeah, uh, definitely a um, a money thing. Like obviously the top guys get paid a lot, but you, I think of the guys that are getting paid like ten and ten. Like coming in, I was like, "How do they survive?" How? Yeah, yeah. I, I know if you're doing it at home and stuff, but I just knew that to be the best MMA fighter that I could be, it was at City Kickboxing, and that's where I felt the best. And but then being away from family and everything just wasn't working out. Yeah, mm-hmm. what's it like training with Eugene and, and that team? Is it is it just as good as it seems? Like- yeah, for for me, like I I I really love studying, like and. The way that they're able to explain why sometimes you're training people and they're like, all right, blah 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 blah, step off and like. But when you go there and they explain why you're like, I've seen them go to detail of like pointing your big toe this way when you step in to turn your head away from us. Do you know what I mean? Very like technical. Yeah, the detail that they go into it is just amazing. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. And there's like no bullshit either. Like Eugene's there from 5 a.m. in the morning all the way through teaching every class, doing pads, and then he's there at the night. So he expects that from every person at the gym as well. Yeah. It's, like, it's cool it, seeing him like when, even just like on Fight Pass at like a tiny little event in New Zealand, he'll be there yeah, corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. He's on a flight every day, like going yeah. somewhere. So uh, I think that's what it is leading from the front. So then, then he expects that from the top down. And yeah, I was right. like, that's why they have such a good community at the gym. <laughs> yeah. So like, it, it doesn't matter because training is Monday to Sunday. So some some sessions will you some days you have four sessions. Sometimes you have five sessions a day. Oh my sometimes God. there'll be three. That's like, a lot, eh? Hey. Yeah. Dude, that's fucking. Well, did crazy. you ever do one of? The, I saw on their Instagram those like he takes Spider? the team to the beach. Oh yeah, yeah. And he like doing those hill sprints yeah. and going underwater, and it yeah. looks like hell. Yeah. PR. <laughs> uh, and then uh, they've got. Like even on uh, New Year's Day, it was like a hundred people sparring at the beach. Like it's every day. Wow, no yeah, rest. Cool. No, <laughs> yeah, no yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no because partying. if you're not fighting, you have to be the sparring partner for everyone else, right? Yeah, oh, true. true. Yeah. Well, there's definitely. I'm sure there's a couple dusty trading partners yeah, there, but like yeah, they're yeah. expected to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who at that gym is like? scary to spar with is anyone scared? i mean i imagine you would be but um, others uh bear bears bear hits hard uh because i'm like is that heavier. the balkan the yeah, balkan bear, bear. Yeah. yeah oh is that the guys at racker yeah the racker boys oh, and Lockie yeah. knows him quite well yeah. as well yeah, yeah we're sort of like our, we're friends of friends yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Bear, bear bear hits hard izzy's just so technical man like yeah. um, actually i hated sparring dan Dan is a psychopath. Bro. Yeah, yeah oh, I can man. see that. Oh man, the first to- <laughs> first couple of times I sparred there, he shin kicked the shit out of like a calf kicked. Yeah, he calf kicked me so hard that like I was like, did I sleep with your sister or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, he just it was like, bah! Yeah, I was yeah. like <laughs> Oh yeah. man. So he's yeah, he's ruthless. We're basically uh, friends with him. We talk to him on Instagram. Uh, so. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, what's oh, it? Man. What's it like? So you've been on some pretty big cards. Mm. What's it like for those massive? Like you were on the Strickland Adesanya yeah. on, the, on the card. The Makachev Volk yeah. too. You were on yeah. that. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's it, What's it like? Is it like? Is that crazy compared to? You know, you just you 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 the the fights you had before you got to that level. What's the difference? Um, when I'm fighting, though. No. Yeah. yeah, it's not till afterwards. Uh, well, I don't know for everyone else, but for me, it's not until like uh, post-fight that I sort of take a look around and go, holy shit, like this is 
Uh, but like beforehand, if you're like, I've I've messed it up once because if you're thinking about the crowd before you go into a fight, like in, for me, yeah, probably shouldn't be walking in there. It's like, yeah. oh man, they're all like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so cool. yeah, yeah. Well, look at all the colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've messed it up once. I was walking out in uh, against Latifi, and uh, I was thinking, oh, I wonder where my wife's sitting. And like that was while I was in the ring, and I was like, oh shit, I just started punching myself in the mouth, and then I. Yeah, he beat me up so like three rounds. I lost by one point, but he beat me up for three rounds. He punched me so many times on the back of the ear that I had vertigo. I couldn't stand up for two weeks. Oh, really? Yeah. Jesus. So we went to Bali afterwards, and I just kept falling over. <laughs> oh, wow. really? yeah. So that's a legit thing, vertigo, like where you just can't like yeah, on the back of the your ear. Your balance just, yeah. is just gone. Yeah. So that one took a couple of years off the of life for sure. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh my god, that's a video. There's a video idea there. Oh man, that's gymnastics. <laughs> gymnastics on vertigo. <laughs> yeah. Just punch you in the back of the ear a bunch of times, Michael, and then you do gymnastics. Oh man, <laughs> I'd watch that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, there you go. Yeah. So what's so yeah. So what, what's do do you ever have any? We ask similar questions to Danny, but like, do you, is it ever like you shitting yourself before the fight, or is it are you confident that you're going to get the win no matter who the opponent is? Is it that kind of thing? Uh, I think I always have like self belief. Like I just when you're going in there, you have to believe you believe you can beat anyone. Like mm. in my head, I can beat anyone in the world. It's like that's and I've found that almost every champion that I've talked with as well is it's like this. It's borderline delusion. Mm. like to mm. the self-belief right like when i've talked to people even like you see with conor mcgregor like he'll lose a fight and he's still talking shit to them you know right. he's yeah. like yeah. yeah so there's like this it's like there's this it starts of, there it, it, yeah. yeah if it doesn't start there it's not gonna happen yeah you yeah. gotta actually believe yeah. it hey and like a lot of the, the these guys like i've trained at uh, jackson wink with like uh, at um greg jackson's gym mm. and then like that these gyms and like i've met a lot of champions and stuff and it's all pretty much the same it's like doesn't matter who when where they just believe like this undoubted self ability, uh, like the belief. best in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I think yeah. that's like everyone. But uh, the definitely my fight in Perth when I got gastro, there wasn't my self belief. I won't <laughs> lie. <laughs> I oh, won't lie. Shit. There wasn't my self belief there. <laughs> like, uh, so how long did, before the fight did you have gastro? So after the weigh-ins, we went to we normally go to a dinner and eat beforehand, and so I weighed in, went to dinner, and then I went to the hotel room and I was just feeling real shit. And then just projectile vomited all over my room. Oh, and then God. didn't sleep all night. It got to 7 a.m. And then I woke up and like began projectile vomit all over the bathroom. Sorry to that hotel. <laughs> like, sorry. That was, that was my bad. Um, like, just left it yeah. all over the walls. I, I tried to clean it up, but I had the fight to go to, man. Yeah, so yeah. They, they knock on my door at 7 a.m. They go, you ready to go? And I look at my train. I was like, this is going to be a hard fight, man. <laughs> you should have just written, sorry, cutting weight in the vomit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So they picked me up. I've, um, I took... Uh, I think you're supposed to take like two of those iridiums or like those stuff to stop you from like because oh, I was like if I shit my pants in the octagon oh, you dude, can't come yeah, back yeah, yeah, that's, like, that's, that's hard like, yeah, yeah. yeah you come back no no like, no, no you, you can't come back I like I'll, I'll, you'll be in my head a shit guy. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. my head I was like if I do that I'm gonna stand on the cage and just jump off head first because that <laughs> yeah, maybe they'll forget yeah. about the shit my pants like he died <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I I took I, did, I took 12 I was like <laughs> nothing came out wow. for like a week and a half so, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. but um, wow. we'll, we went to warm up and um I, t I threw two punches and my coach was just like oh just sit down just just, just, just don't worry about warming up <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. But you kind of so, got to fight, hey, because what I've, happens if you don't? Well, I've already spent all on the camp yeah, and right? everything. If I don't fight, like, we're done. And also, <laughs> he took it on short notice. So I was like, I'm not going to let him be the one that takes on short. I'm not going to say no to him. Mm. Looking back, definitely shouldn't have had the fight. Like, oh, really? So yeah. if, you could, if you could do it again, you wouldn't? Well, you'd... like, yes and no, because, like, I learned so much from that. But, uh, like, it just wasn't safe. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like if I told the UFC, they would have like probably filled me up. Like I didn't tell no one. I didn't tell my corner. I didn't tell anyone that I was sick. Like they could just tell. You didn't even tell up. your corner. No, because I yeah. didn't want to be out the back and everyone like have that nervous energy. Yeah. So I just wanted to go in and I was like, "Fuck it, we're in this now. Let's fight." I always I, like I haven't pulled out of a fight until actually this one. So yeah. <laughs> it's like it was, um, 
Well, after seeing the photo, it's, yeah, you've got a pretty good excuse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I reckon. Uh, so, yeah. Like, yeah, but I reckon. No, no, <laughs> still giving it a crack. Right now, like just yeah. moving your arm. Yeah. Yeah, wow. So um, there's uh, I broke the humerus and the tendon store. I just got a call from the surgeon before I came in here. I get it surgery tomorrow or the next day. Oh wow! Well, they just so like quick. they just fix it. Uh, they're gonna staple it and then uh, they fill it in. I think the bone. Wow! And, and then the still four weeks. They reckon? Uh, I think six weeks. Six okay. Week, yeah, yeah, six weeks recovery and then just have the fight six weeks after that. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what does wow. um backstage? at a UFC event look like? Like, is it all the fighters in like one big room or do you have your own little room, where your little area where you warm up at? Yeah, if they have teams, uh, then like you'll be sort of with your team. Sometimes you're by yourself. It's all different because of different arenas. Uh, but when I visualize, it's pretty much the same visualization because almost always like they're always cold. It's always cold. I don't know why. It's always <laughs> yeah. cold at the back. So when I like when I visualize in my head before the fight, I always have this feeling of cold when seeing the gloves and like you get that sort of chill on your like skin and yeah. you hear like that cracking of people like hitting pads and like you like it's like five minutes tossed until you're walking and then it's like then it starts building up and like but we're pretty calm like Ty and I uh, like we've been in one and we're like got Shania Twain playing and we're like dancing yeah, yeah. and singing or like I'll be asleep it's pretty calm we've been fighting's in us so but you see some guys they're feeling it like yeah. you well some- you're just describing it I felt nervous like just yeah. thinking about that like the the sounds of someone else hitting because like when we're backstage with you guys I know like just hearing, like watching your opponents hit gloves, you analyze, you like watch them yeah. and think, oh, shit. You can't help it. And then when yeah. you guys started hitting gloves, both of them literally stopped what they were doing and they're like looking yeah, yeah, over and you can to, see like yeah. knuckles, sort of some of the some of the color went out of his face. And then when you <laughs> started hitting the gloves, I got to say, but uh, it's interesting. Yeah. And then uh, like so you see some guys, they're throwing up like, in the oh, business. really? Yeah, for sure. Dude, yeah, for that's sure. fucking crazy. But like, I remember, do is uh, Dan Kelly? Dan Kelly, do you remember Dan Kelly, Dad's Army? Dan Kelly, heard the name. Dad's Army is like the <clears throat> older judo Australian guy. Is oh, I do oh, remember yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do remember yeah. him. Yeah, uh, he had an opponent. I was in the room with the opponent, and this guy, Chris Carmichael, Carmichael, Car- something like that. Mm. I'm gonna probably mess up the name. He was hitting the pads in my room, and I remember going, "I wouldn't want to fight that guy." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bop, shit kick like this guy was hitting it and i was yeah. like oh who are you fighting he goes dan kelly i go oh my gosh because you know dan is known for taking punishment yeah and i was like but dan ended up beating him like yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> like wore him out and like they're just well, yeah. after hitting the yeah, pads. yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, like i was so impressed by that win but i remember being like yeah when you see some of those guys warming up out the back you're going fuck yeah have you had an opponent that like has just been who's been like your most terrifying opponent and why did they like get in your head with talking or were they just like they had a reputation or uh as in me feeling fear yeah because probably this last fight to be honest yeah yeah yeah. because uh this was the most fear that i felt uh i remember because of like the what could happen afterwards like so much do you know what i mean and like it's not actually the fight it's more like the aftermath that like like, i don't know i've never been scared of another fighter and like uh which is crazy because i look at some of the people like fucking that khalil roundtree guy yeah he like freaks me out man just the way like he looks like he's trying to murder people like yeah but i'd feel the same thing if i was fighting you but it's just interesting you do have a friendly face though compared to other fighters (laughs) there's a smile and you you feel like tyson today you probably don't watch ufc as much as we do so if you like see but i could see the other side i could see the darkness there you don't want to piss you off Yeah, uh, yeah. I took the Carl, uh, the Khalil Roundtree fight on four weeks' notice, and uh, like they asked, "Who do you want to? Uh, do you want to know who you're fighting?" I was mm. like, "No, nah, it doesn't matter." And then they were yeah. like, "Khalil Roundtree," and I was like, "Yeah, sweet." But we didn't have any southpaws to train for that fight, so I didn't train for southpaws. Oh That's my why God. when you watch the fight, I get cracked with the left, the biggest yeah. left hand you've ever seen. Shit. I never saw it coming because <laughs> yeah, wow. I haven't you're even so trained my to eye to see it coming. But, uh, you got the yeah. job done though. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. So um but then like a, one of the one of the big things that I learned from this last fight was because I was so scared, I was so uh not scared, but because I had so much fear about what would happen and stuff and with the fight, um I felt so brave afterwards cuz I was like I felt so much fear that I was like I still went in there and went and put on a show knowing that if you know what I mean. So yeah, yeah. You got yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was um pretty cool, big yeah. learning lesson.
What's it like um, after you win like a massive UFC mm. fight? So what, what is there like a, a celebration period? <laughs> there would be uh, surely. Because there was, I couldn't even stop it. Like even after our little like the oh, podcast yeah. thing, it was just like a week of just like a, a yeah. bender, a bender yeah. for a week. Yeah, I used to be real bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I used to be bad. Uh, it was probably after, I think it was after... I think it was after the Sydney fight, maybe the Sydney fight. That was a bit, a bit of a bit of a sender as well. Like, um, but uh, I started realizing that I wasn't getting to experience the wins and losses because I was celebrating every time after it. Like, uh, like you yeah. lose the fight and you don't even get to sit with those feelings that you've lost the fight in front of hundreds of thousands of people or like you've won. Yeah. So. I started, I started going, all right, I've got to start dealing with this. And that's just maturity, I guess. Like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. But, yeah. but man, before when I was younger, I was partying before the fight, after the fight, oh, true, during, yeah. the, during fight. the fight. Yeah. <laughs> like, Surely the Sydney one was worse because you and Ty were both on yeah, the card, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like yeah. he, he would be a relatively bad but good influence <laughs> well, bro, in like, that way. I, let's, I used to drink a lot more than Ty. Like, really? Wow. Yeah, okay. Big, Shots fired? Drink. Yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> big, you can ask him, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, the reason why we started drinking West is he didn't drink beer, and it was like, oh, Tyson drinks beer, so let's bring him on board. So yeah, like, yeah, right. Yeah, so I was a bad drinker. But. Yeah, so so Ty is like, you know, you see you see him when he wins a fight and shit, doing the shoeys and stuff. Yeah. So he's genuinely like 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 loves to get on the pierce, loves to party. Yeah, genuinely like that. Yeah. And what's it like partying with him? Is it crazy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah, that's a good job. <laughs> You'll have, like, I can tell Ty, if you want to party with Ty, I tell everyone, yeah, go party with Ty. It'll be five. You'll have four of the best experiences in your life, but that one time, <laughs> that one time, it's going to be a bad one. <laughs> <laughs> so, so curious. We, like, yeah. Uh, but, like, we don't get into full punch-ons, but we get into it a little bit. Like, yeah. people, people, even when we, like, we've had, like, Vegas has got to meet him a couple of times and, like, we get into it, like, so... Yeah. Who the fuck is mouthing off? Like no, with, me and Ty. Oh, with each other. <laughs> I was gonna say, who the f- is going up to you two and being like, oh, I'm gonna go up to you boys. No, nah, they still do, bro. It's, like it's and, madness. Uh, it's um, yeah, the craziest one is why. Like I, I hate calling out, like because people would like start drinking and they just. My, I hate when people touch my face. And I probably shouldn't have said that. Cause like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't even like my daughter touching my face, let alone yeah. like random people. But when they drink, it's like, Titan. Oh, yeah. like, what? Really? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 People just forget that we get paid to punch people. Yeah. So yeah. Like, yeah. I would not forget that no matter how drunk I was. I wouldn't be fucking, oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 You meet some weird people. Bro, and last time I went out, there was, I were like, I was in the toilet. This guy comes up and he goes, like, brother, like, how are you going? It's like, bro, I haven't even washed my hands. He goes, I want the piss and all. I was like, it threw me off. I didn't know what to do. And so I shook his head. I, like, I panicked. I panicked. I fucked it up. Like, bro, you like, yeah. people get in the toilet everywhere. You, I'm sure you guys get it as well. Like, yeah, yeah, well, we yeah. don't really go out and it's we go out much anymore, but yeah. it, like to bars and stuff, we just kind of. When we party, we just party at like someone's house. Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. Getting a bit old, you know. Yeah, to, for, to go out to bars. It's yeah. hard, man. It's hard work. Yeah. <laughs> how was like, the, how was your guys' fight? Like, yeah, it was like, a fucking crazy experience. Like, yeah, yeah, it was um, because it was it was quite a big event, and we had no idea that we'd be the main event. Like, <laughs> yeah, g- going into it, like you know, we you just kind of was getting bigger and bigger and bigger as it was getting closer. Yeah. And then by the end of it, like, yeah, we were there the day before and they took us through, like, the venue and it's just like, oh, this is all going to be sold out <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> just like, holy fuck, yeah. so daunting. Yeah. And you know the number, you know how many people are going to be there, but walking in, especially when the people are there, and you're just like, Jesus, this is 20 times what yeah. you yeah. You'd imagine. That's why I always recommend, I've, I taught, uh, like, the black tie boxing, it's like that corporate boxer sort of thing. Similar to what oh, you yeah. did, like, you have your first fight after 11 weeks of training. And I, I recommend everyone doing it because there's nothing like going out for the first time yeah. in front of your friends and family. Mm. And it's like, you're not like, um, maybe someone has, but you're not going to get knocked out. You're not going to get properly hurt, but you get to experience that anxiety and pushing through something and like yeah, training for something. But I, I also told him, I wonder if you felt it, that there's um like a bit of a drop like you train for something, can you pitch that one thing for so long that there's like a bit of a drop afterwards? I don't know if you've felt it. Like, well, yeah, oh, that's literally yeah. what, yeah, that's I what happened the- to me. Like, it's like a, um, there's, 
you've put all so much energy and time into something yeah. and then, and then, then that's over then yeah, yeah. We're randomly just looking around like yeah. what's what, what's next now yeah, so, yeah so, i get what you mean and yeah. then it's really easy to to put that energy into something unhealthy yep. which, yeah. which is what i've done for the last 3 weeks i've yeah. just yeah. become fat again tum, tum yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah, unbelievable yeah. like you're not there yeah, yet to, mate yeah not quite yeah. but like god i've got to like, really just snap myself out mm. of it cuz it's just like you're just so happy and and the relief is so overwhelming yeah. it's just like just want to keep and then yeah, and you, yeah, and you just let go of all the good things that was helping yeah. you, like and yeah. you know, you're feeling the best you've ever felt, and then you just go, oh, that was it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like exactly, cut it off, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I and I tell everyone that because it, like just as same with pros, like we all feel it, but like I guess if you haven't ever experienced it and that's your first one, sometimes you're not ready for it, like, get ready for it. So like we, had, I had a couple guys and they were like not expecting it, so yeah. yeah. Get pretty down, no, pretty 100%. quick. <laughs> I, I, I can see that. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. One one thing that was interesting with the fight is, like, I've known Michael a long time, and mm. he's normally with sport, very calculated, very like with any sport that we play, very competitive. Mm. So I, I had faith with him in the fight, but I thought he'd be very calculated in boxing. Yeah. You, you weren't yeah. like man he got hit and then he just marched forward and was yeah. just swinging and i was like i did not see this side and of yeah, michael has knuckles, got like, knuckles got like 20 kilos on michael yeah. too like you know so yeah it was Much awesome better. all your thought process goes out the window it was right? like you hit me now i gotta hit you back because <laughs> yeah. i was like shit i gotta get you good back so yeah. we can win in points because i didn't you know it's sort of like fight or flight right yeah you just sort of you could cower but you didn't look like feel points it was in your that, brain at all. Yeah. <laughs> it was like you just wanted you to put feel it in the, the pain, ground. especially yeah. with all like the, the eyes on you. Like there's, you just sort of become invincible mm. in a way. Yeah, it's weird. When I snapped yeah. my ACL, I didn't feel it. Uh, oh, yeah. really? Yeah, I heard Is that, it. ACL's your knee, right? Yeah. So did what? Did you? Because I dislocated mine. Did yours? Mm. What snap? Did yours move out? The patella, so, like yeah. The, the, um, it was against Shogun in Adelaide. He had my back. He kicked this leg out, and my knee caved in this sideways. Oh my god! So man. like it snapped, mm. and then uh, but that was in the second round, and I just kept trying to fight, but I kept falling over because my knee like. Oh <laughs> my god! That's you would have done fight. more damage. <sighs> no, nah, it was already fully torn, so it's not going to do more. Oh, okay. It's like <laughs> can't do more than fully torn. <laughs> <laughs> I already fully fucked it. Yeah, so I can't f- it more. All I was thinking in my head was that, like, if I don't finish the fight, my dad's gonna bash me out the back. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Was like, yeah, dude, meeting your dad, he seems like such a legend. Man. Yeah, can we yeah. hear a bit about him? Because yeah, it sounds yeah. like Danny yeah. was telling us he's like a yeah. pioneer of like you know fight sports in yeah. Australia. And yeah, yeah. it's just uh, so uh, the first uh, uh, he started King of the Cage in Australia. So uh, I was just laughing because I was just telling them there was a, on the UFC there was a thing called Kumite, and that was what he based. We had one of the fights at Penrith Panthers and uh, the cage was still illegal to have cage fights in oh. Sydney. So dad was like, well, what if I get rid of the cage? So he had like a meter, 1.2 meter platform and just took the cage walls off <laughs> and everyone stood around with those kick pads and bumped people back oh, on when they were fighting. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. And Tama Tahuna knocked this guy out so bad that his head like went over the thing and like cracked his head. And I was like, oh, that's why they have a cage. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I thought he was dead. But um, yeah, like he just, uh, we did, there was a lot of sketchy stuff going on back then, back in the days. But, uh, and just even with, my training, like that's just how I grew up. Like that was a, it was a harder era. Like, mm. um, so how did your dad get into MMA? Because that was like it was so yeah. Like no one fucking did yeah. MMA back in the day. So he's uh, originally from California, Oceanside, and he's got seven black belts in different styles. And uh, so your dad could throw down. Oh yeah. So imagine 150 kilos spinning back kick, like easy. Oh yeah. yeah. Cool. He can still do full splits. Like yeah. Wow. Oh, okay. wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Holy shit. So, um, and like can grapple, everything's brown belt and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's got seven. Who, who would win out of you and your dad? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll knock him out. Right now. <laughs> like, like, I'm a professional Obviously, and he's yeah, yeah. 50 something. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's a weird question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, so, um, but, uh, <laughs> but to be fair, he always told me if you could, whenever like I got to that age where I could beat him, I'll shoot you. So, like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, uh, yeah, it's just always been real, 
like full on like you it would have been like docs probably should have been called like when they were you know, you know what I mean yeah. like when we were kids like so uh, it was pretty crazy yeah, uh, yeah. like what that lovely nice guy you met now it that's was, since he's become a grandfather yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he was yeah, not yeah he was like a yeah grew up in a very rough neighbourhood in Oceanside and like gangbanger and then wow, he's come over really? and, Holy yeah shit. fully changed like you know what you know what I mean you meet him and you go oh it's so he's lovely so nice. yeah, yeah. yeah. smile not, yeah, yeah, not that. <laughs> yeah, <wow. laughs> when did he come here from California? Uh, I think when he was 20, oh, 19, okay. yeah, 19 yeah. 20. Yeah. So, yeah, he's been here for a long time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so, I, like, for when when I was going for my purple belt in Kenbo Karate, it was like, oh, I just know that you might die tomorrow. It was like, oh, <laughs> I, okay. I had a full panic attack I'd like with my mum. I was like, Dad said I'm going to die tomorrow. It was like, so we, we went up the Central Coast and... <laughs> Like oh, it was on the it was on the beach, the grading. No content. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm just, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so we got the grading to go for my brown belt. <laughs> yeah, so, right. uh, and um, like you go through all these different challenges. So yeah. uh, the first one was like we we were doing horse stance on the beach, and they were trying to get you to break, which is like a full squat, and you just stand there for like 15, 15 minutes, twenty minutes, and like he's they're walking around to all the kids, and he's got it's called a bow staff. It's like a big stick, just hitting him, tapping him. He's like Tyson, arms out. It's like, those like and just start hitting me. I was like crying. Like, you just got to stand there just to build pain tolerance up or something. No, nah, I think it was more just because dad read, dad sort of thought that he was raising Spartans when he was like in his head. So he had to show everyone that like he's the hardest kid. Like I don't go easy on him or anything. And then uh, like then we had to go fight in the water and like he just held me underwater like in the beach. Oh, dude. <laughs> I was like <laughs> 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 all I can remember when I left, I was like. When the fuck am I ever going to fight in water? I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's such bullshit. <laughs> I'm not a fish, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, like, yeah, that's um, like, and that was pretty regular occurrence. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like, uh, we, we can't go into the house until you've done, like, a certain amount of, like, kicks or punches. Yeah. Like, me and my brother and sister always sparring. Like, it was just, like, we were a real fighting household. So. Yeah, oh, man. Wow. Your brothers and sisters still fight? No, they don't. They no. knew straight away to get away. <laughs> Same way, but uh, but but now you so you went down. You got to the UFC, so you, that your dad would have been so yeah. Charmed. So that's why, like I said, that was the first time he said he was proud of me when yeah. we got to the UFC. Oh, it's that like, would have been yes. so good. Yeah, I did it. It's yeah. all worth it. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was it was a really cool experience uh, because dad didn't want me to originally fight in the um professionally. Having the cage fights and stuff, he sort of knew that um, there's not much money in it. Like the danger of, of like you know, that was more low level in Australia. Like money wise, like professional, put the professionalism of the show. So uh, was it wasn't until we started getting in there that he was like, oh yeah, like I'm happy you did this. When I first, I, I've told the story a few times, but when I first told Dad that um, I wanted to fight professionally, he said, all right, well you're gonna fight me first and I was 16 and it was the first time I ever cracked him properly and I just remember seeing his eyes and the only person I've seen that has eyes like this is like Mark Hunt they like glaze over and you just can't recognize him and I just, he's like he had a fight coming up a guy against this Bobby named, guy named Bobby and he's like I'm gonna kill you Bobby I was like <laughs> I was like dad it's me <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, started, yeah, started running around the ring and then I just he won two and there was like all the people from Elite Fight Gym there there was like James Tahuna Tama Tahuna they were all sitting around the ring and I remember hearing everyone talking and I was just like man I hope I'm not at the gym <laughs> like when I came back too because he knocked me out slept me <laughs> And um, I was uh, like, I, I, my teeth had fallen out. My front teeth are fake. And I grabbed Whoa. my teeth. I was like, please don't be at the gym. Please don't be at the gym. I look around. Everyone's pretending like they're not looking. And then uh, um, I was just like, all right, grab my teeth. I go to get out of the ring. And he was like, where are you going? You still got a minute left on the clock. And then he just made me punch him for a minute, like while he tried to bite my hands. So it was like, I was just punching him like, ah, crying. <laughs> no was, yeah, trying to punch. Yeah, trying to punch. Man. So. Afterwards, he was like, all right, I'll let you fight. But I know it was like, that's bullshit. You're just scared. Mom's going to be angry that my teeth are knocked out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just feel bad for knocking me out. Like, that's... <laughs> oh, man. What a wild man. That is a, yeah, fuck. that's a different sort of story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that, like, that was just regular, like... Oh, man. Normal, 
But <laughs> how, so, how, well, how do you feel? Like, and looking back at that, mm. do you? How do? What do you think about your dad and the way he raised? Oh, we're you? close as. Yeah, we're we're about as close. We're like probably closer to brothers and father and son. Like in a, in a weird way, but um, do you have like, kids? Yeah. And, and I could never deal with them like, this is yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I look at my daughter and go, how is my reckon? dad like that? <laughs> <laughs> Something he's supposed to love. No. Yeah, yeah. But he just like he's from a very different background, bro. Like, yeah. And he just honestly believed he was raising Spartans. So, and I wouldn't also be where I am if it wasn't for that upbringing. Yeah, yeah you know? true. Yeah. So, uh, it's uh, like I don't hold any animosity for it at all. Yeah, yeah no. We'll it's um. But sometimes I just go like that one was a bit far. Like so, sometimes <laughs> yeah. you know, we'll be talking and I was like, "That's payback to it." Remember, like yeah. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you, your dad was mates with Mark Hunt as well. Yeah, yeah. Dad grew up. Um, he was around that era. So like the guys that trained in our garage, we had like um, Brad Morris, Tony Bonello, uh, James Sahuna, and me. So four people trained out of a, a garage in Cranebrook, all were in the UFC. Wow. Yeah, wow! Yeah, so how that's so crazy. Like such a small world that you guys have. It's like your network has just grown and been successful together. Yeah, yeah. It's uh well, Ty, like, uh, even from Ty, I think most UFC fighters per, like uh, from Penrith. Yeah, we wow. have the most UFC fighters. I think I don't know if it's per capita or something, but yeah, we have the yeah. Well, one area. Like, we even went to breakfast and the like the. The guy serving us had like massive cauliflower ears. Like, I don't fuck with yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> he overcharged me. I was like, um, excuse me. <laughs> where, 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 where'd you go to breakfast? Uh, Little Jack's just at the Westfield up here. It's oh, just no, like a no, cafe. Sure. But yeah, yeah he it's just everyone in Pedro's has just got cauliflower ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. You can charge me $60 for some eggs and bacon. It's all right. But it, maybe. Oh, that's maybe. funny. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, we have like an amazing jiu-jitsu gym here as well. Like Sydney West. It's, uh, I don't know if you've seen, but he's one of like, the top MMA, uh, it's top jiu-jitsu competitors from here as well. That they've got an amazing gym, Luke. Uh, they're uh, competing in the ADCC as well. It's just like in Penrith, we've just got this mad fighting culture. Yeah, so. that's awesome. Well, just yeah. sport in general. Oh just yeah, of course. Massive. Yeah, massive. Like, like how what imagine? Panthers three years yeah. in a row now, yeah. and like so. Man. You just don't go for Broncos. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, I'm, I'm a Knights. I'm a Knights supporter. Sadly. Yeah. It's been a rough two yeah. years. A bit better last year, but it's all right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I grew up. I grew up in Maitland until I was about oh, six years yeah, old. Man. So I think it's sort of. And I just loved the Johns Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It sort Luke of came Schumer. from there. I think. Yeah. I just. Uh, is it Cooper Johns? The, yeah, the son. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we we, we, we um we met Cooper Johns at the Volk camp. You were there very briefly. Yeah, yeah. We met, so we I did meet his yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, that was an interesting um podcast I did at Kiss. Like the first, it was like, do you debate? Do you have sex before you fight? I was just like. What what is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? It's oh, called wow. in the in the sheds or something. So the right. premise is like you're naked before you go on the show. Uh, it's like, oh, okay. It's like, yeah. Each to like, their own, I suppose. <laughs> so I wasn't <laughs> expecting it, but <laughs> Boy, that, what these, was it like meeting? I'm oh, so sorry. These drink rests you've made me piss yeah, so you bad. Oh, yeah, go. I'm so sorry. Right, you know Knuckles, eh? One of the guys we had. A, I think he's. Oh, the, yeah, it's what, um, he owns CTC, the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. He's, 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 I'm pretty sure he's like in business in, with, yeah, with in Drink West. And, yeah. he, and last year when we um, announced the fights that we're doing against, yeah. uh, said that we're doing the fights, he went and had like a, a training camp with, with Todd because Knuckles was like 110 kilos or something. Yeah. And then we're like, you know, oh, like, you know, they're a bit bigger than us. But then Knuckles yeah. went to a training camp with yeah. Ty and lost like ten kilos in like fucking. That's like mad weeks. that they had the same weight loss like journey. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. Ty was one sixty then or something. Bro, yeah, well, bro one sixty. That is Ty gets up guess, there, man. man. Dude, what kilos? What <laughs> yeah, the fuck, man. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. No wonder those legs, though, they're just so thick. Is he as tall like, as you are? Big man. He's no, nah, a little bit shorter, but bro, yeah. like, he's got thick fingers. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah. Like he's yeah, just well. a big human. Yeah, yeah, massive, massive, massive. Guy. Mark Hunt's massive too. I like same, that. bro. Exact same thing. Low center of gravity, built low to the ground. Yeah, but like, he's quite tall too. Because I remember like watching him in UFC. He'd always fight like taller guys yeah. in the heavyweight. But then he had that fight against Gallon. Yeah, that in the boxing. Yeah, but and, Gallon's and was like, short. Yeah, Gallon's quite yeah. short. But I, like he was like, I was yeah. shocked at how he looks like bigger than yeah. in with a normal size yeah. person. I think he's like 5'11". Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I think, so think they're both. Yeah. Oh, I could be wrong on that. That's I, <laughs> yeah. I chucked that out there. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> that could have been a situation. Who, who do you reckon would win in a fight between you and Ty? 
Have you guys? Do you guys ever? We sparred? sparred. Yeah, we sparred. Yeah, yeah. I don't, so yeah, I don't like really talk about sparring, but bro, because like if he gets me, like I'm Game asleep. Over. Yeah, but yeah. I know that, so I'm just yeah. in and out real fast. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm moving, I'm yeah. running fast, like just Your dad jab, perfectly. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, what about Ty versus Mark Hunt? That'd be an interesting. Fight, uh, there's footage I'll... of them sparring. Really? Yeah, yeah. And Fuck, I think cool. Ty was dirty because he got a bit of a stitch up with the footage. Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. It was good. Like, but I heard it was good sparring. But man, both of them, it's like they have this ability to. One, find the chin. Yeah. And two, they can just touch you. And like, sometimes you'll see them like hit someone else's hands and they like, <laughs> it punches their own face and <laughs> yeah. sleeps them. Like, they're oh, just, wow. Like, like, yeah. 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 I've yeah. been clipped a couple of times by them and it's just like you you get touched and like just all black, like instantly. <gasps> How many times do you reckon you've been knocked out? <laughs> Only twice, both by my dad. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> such a good sentence. <laughs> Only uh, twice, yeah, and they're both below yeah, 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 like yeah. like out, yeah, out, both below. Like, wow, yeah, because so what? It's like I've heard it's like teleportation. You're standing, and then next minute you wake up, and you just you don't know what's happened for yeah. a bit. It's well, similar to when you've been choked out. Yeah, you've been okay. choked out, dude. It's like you, it feels yeah. like you're gone for hours. Yeah, yeah. In yeah, another realm, yeah. like man, yeah. it's like doing like a hardcore psychedelic, yeah. Yeah. and then you, you just sort of out. come back. You're trying to figure out who you are. Where you are, what is are, yeah. and then <laughs> it's it's he's, weird. He's you know, like some minor brain damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is are? <laughs> <laughs> who checked out? Yeah, um, who did Adrian it? Adrian Chang wasn't it one? Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I used to train at uh, Integrated oh, MMA. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I, lived, I lived up in Queensland. Yeah, yeah. that's oh, wow. right. Yeah, that's go. awesome. Yeah. yeah was that where it. Isaac was as well? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, fucking Pangy's a legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a legend. Seen his son? Yeah. I haven't seen Man. him since he's been a little kid. He yeah. looks he's, like a scary getting, human these oh, days. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think he's like, he's like 15, 16 or something now and he's yeah, like right. he's just started doing like, you know, jiu-jitsu, does Muay Thai fights every now and then and he's fucking killing it. Man, man this next generation is just crazy. You just watch some of these Danny's kids. Son yeah, hips. yeah. Whew. And especially like jiu-jitsu as well. Mm. Like you see these freaks that are like yeah. 15, like not even the younger. They're just It's just... They're growing up well, doing it. That's the thing. Like, obviously, now you go into boxing, but if you look at like doing the MMA when you were doing that, trying <laughs> to juggle wrestling, like that's mm. like you've got that's so hard to do. Like on top of getting hit in the face, kicked. It's like yeah. being a professional in like five in like six different sports. Yeah, mm, right. Uh, and like you can see in some of my fights as well. Sometimes I, it would stop me because uh, like I would. I'm a bit of a thinker, so like I'll think about then I'll do that, then I'll do this, this move goes there, and then sometimes I'll overthink my way out of it, and then I'll just I'll pause there or get stuck, like yeah, right. just at, at a distance. So it's like if you're thinking, you're already like a second behind. It's yeah. like you sort of have to be like so Instinct. subconscious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wow. Are you, there any are there any Australian fighters <laughs> in the circuit that you've sort of you know of or that you feel like are just going to be massive when they break into the UFC that are like champion worthy? Oh. There's a lot of good kids, but I haven't been to I, like at the lower level, like mm. uh, not lower level, but I haven't been on the like circuit level yeah, watching okay. people training and stuff. Like I know toes him up and like uh, coming out of city kickboxing, he's mm. one of the kids to watch out for that's yeah. probably going to be on there. Navajo Sterling. Yeah. Uh, but uh, in Australia, I haven't been at many MMA gyms. Watching, yeah, like, sure. Thunder. What weight class are they? Uh, Navajo's uh, light heavyweight and yep. toes him up is little. Yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> Tiny. Yeah, yeah like yeah. like it's like a child. But like but like will knock people out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that's yeah. exciting. Yeah, he's a, he's staunch, bro. He just hits hard, like he's really skilled. They they've got some exciting fights coming up, I think. Never never heard just one. Um I think Brando just lost, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Did, so, yeah. Like, but that'll be the biggest thing for him, man. Like, the, yeah, I, I was, I was saying, because I was talking to Lockie about it as soon as it happened, and he got choked out. Hey, yeah. but he like dropped the dude off the of jab, a jab, yeah, and then just, I, I just don't think he thought, you know, you get yeah. excited and just jumped on top of him, yeah. and then it sort exactly. of went downhill. And, from that, and that's the learning curve that you get, right? Yeah. So it's like that all comes from experience. You learn more from that loss than it will from any wins for that fifteen mm. second knockouts that he has. So. Yeah, it's yeah. a good thing about MMA and UFC, like. It's you don't have to go undefeated your whole career. Mm. You can have a loss, like, yeah. and it's like impossible because so much shit can happen. Yeah. So it's like it's just statistically impossible to mm. just go. F 
and undefeated yep. through it through the whole time. So it's good that you can have a loss and still become like a champ. You know, yeah, whereas with boxing, right? It's like yeah, exactly. That. They they, <laughs> yeah, they fluff undefeated. your record up, and yeah. then you you know you lose once or twice. You like everyone kind of like turns away. Yeah, right? yeah. You know? Well, that was a big part of taking this fight against uh, Chris Terzieski. So like he's a um, well-renowned boxer, number five in the world. And I wanted to come over like I didn't want to come over from MMA and then go. All right, I'm fighting this guy. 17 losses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think so. I've heard you say in previous podcasts, you like, you've taken fights where in hindsight, you're like, man, a lot of normal fight or other fighters wouldn't take those fights because it's sort of like, yeah. it, you know, it is, it's detrimental if you win or lose, like in certain situations. Yeah. But you just sort of have sort of gone bang, bang, bang. I'm just going to take what, what comes or do it the hard way in a way. Like yeah. In a and high risk, high reward. Yeah. Right? Like, that's true. Um, uh, and, uh, also, it's like yeah, like uh, I think the boxing public and maybe their team have to be naive to think that we haven't watched it and seen something that we can take advantage of. Yeah, like, we've yeah. watched it and go, oh, okay, I think we can, we've got this. Yeah. So yeah, it's like we haven't just picked him randomly. Yeah, so, okay. yeah. it's yeah. exciting, man. Yeah, no, it's th- very exciting. Who do you think's gonna win out of um, McGregor Chandler? Um, do you know what? I'm gonna. I, I think Chandler. Yeah. But every single time I've bet against McGregor, <laughs> yeah. I lose every time. <laughs> yeah. It's like I said no against Jose Aldo, and, like, and then they just kept going and going. And everyone yeah. was, I was like, all right, no, no, I'm done betting against him. <laughs> yeah. But he, like, he's just getting, it's getting a bit older now. But yeah. like, it's a couple of losses. And he hasn't been in the ring. For, yeah. Surely that's yeah. going to count for something. He hasn't been in the ring for, for the Octagon for bloody, how long now? Two years? Longer, I reckon. Yeah, I, I had the longest layoff in UFC history. With, oh, really? Yeah, with my injury, I was off for four years. Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah. With the knee. Yeah, so I tore it, and then I went in for surgery. Uh, well, I tore it, and then nine months later, I was like, "They'll go back, but go back into camp," and it exploded instantly. Oh, <laughs> it just tore again, like yeah. Well, supposedly the surgeon said that they had put the tunnel, the ACL, in the wrong tunnel, so it pulled the wrong oh way. Oh my god! You don't want to. F- that up <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, god man so then uh the, the, they go in they're like you can start again or um but the return to sports like 10 percent chance if you do it a third time so uh Oof. oh yeah so, so you like, can't like, oh, bro, that, was, that was the worst so you would be like, like at least the other day it's just my elbow like, yeah. well, I've got a couple more runs with that. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. as long as it's not the knee. Yeah. When that's when the, when I heard it was just a broken bone, I was like, oh yeah, oh, sweet. God. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. broken bone, six weeks, you're back. Don't worry. I've done four years. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Four Seriously, years. Well, you just yeah. what what do you do in the four years? You just nah, sit around bro, going, there's a lot of ups and downs. <laughs> yeah, a bit <laughs> of like, video games. Yeah. That, well, that's why one I started the beer, I opened up a restaurant. Yeah, the restaurants okay. like, bro, I was trying to do everything. Yeah. I was doing like high risk stuff. I was like, let's jump out of a plane, like, you know, trying to get the adrenaline rush. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, I loved fighting. Fighting is where my head's clear. Like, yeah, I don't think about problems. It's my like escape. Yeah. Mm. Not not having that. Yeah. Pick up dude, a lot of other exactly. vices. I know. <laughs> but, it's normally yeah. negative. You yeah, know? Okay, yeah. Yeah. No, so, I fully get what you mean. I get wow. like road rage real easy. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, imagine like fucking having road rage with MMA. And Tyson yeah. Pedro jumps out of the car. <laughs> yeah. Well, I couldn't jump out of the car. I was like, oh, I yeah, the knee was messed up. Yeah. Like, I don't think I was supposed to be driving. Yeah. To be yeah. able to come to your car and then just grab him through the window. <laughs> At least you got disabled parks for a bit. Yeah. <laughs> There's always an the upside. Yeah. Um, have you have you met um, Dana White? Yeah, a couple of times. So like, what's what's he like in real life? Uh, not not enough to like give a yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, him, yeah, yeah. Like very briefly. So yeah, okay, I, yeah. I I couldn't go like oh he's a good guy like I haven't met him long enough to yeah do that. yeah but yeah fair. he's always been respectful and nice to me so yeah mm. he seems like a legend I fucking love mm. Dana one yeah I do too and what he's done with the UFC oh yeah. that that's the respectable right like yeah. we cha- went from a business that was doing very well like for sure yeah like and, well now yeah. it's just like MMA is like and just, just the free the, the, the free speech. Like with yeah. you in the UFC is just yeah. the best. No yeah. other sport, every other yeah. sport is just so political yeah. and 
Whereas UFC is just yeah. always best being the fighters of the fighters. They yeah. can say what they want. They can believe what they want. Yeah, do what you want, even if it's right? messed up in the wrong opinion. <laughs> yeah. like, you shouldn't believe what you yeah. believe. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Sean Strickland. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, like, even Sean him, says some nice stuff. Bro, he says, some, he some, says some good stuff. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, it's just like, I, I do appreciate that. Because you look at some of the NRL players, especially that they're just mm. like, you cannot go out of your box and they don't yeah. get to maybe be themselves. Like I, I think, uh, like I've spoken to a lot of the boys and they're just like, oh, we're, like that you can actually have your own personality yeah like you know yeah that would be nice yeah <laughs> yeah what <laughs> <laughs> robots just he was uh shit. nathan was probably one of the hardest podcasts i ever did cleary oh really really yeah because they're so media trained so uh, i would ask wow, him really? i would ask him a question and he would answer it to the exact point and then just stop and look at me Oh, and then, really? like, wow. yeah, and then, like, wait, I, I was like, get my notes. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. uh, next question. Like, oh, it didn't flow wow. into yeah, different yeah, shit. Because it was like, just they just know to, like, I'll only give you this because then you can't, like, yeah. make ah, me look like one okay. way or do you know what I mean? Like, he'd so, have to be extra careful, too. Exactly. It was like one of the biggest superstars exactly. in the sport. Probably yeah. the biggest, right? Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. you got to, how, how old's your daughter? Uh, two. Oh, two. Yeah. Two and a half. Just saw it on your back phone. She's a cutie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so are you uh, gonna have a number two i don't know yet man I a, like I, I definitely want more kids but it was just uh is it a life-changing thing yeah and just with fighting it's a very yeah, selfish true, yeah. sport, bro. does it make you want to like does it make you think about like not getting hurt and shit because like now you got a daughter you know you got responsibility of having a daughter as well you would think that that would play in the back of your mind like i can't if i get fucked up here it's gonna fuck her up as well. I'll tell you. I don't know if this is messed up or not, but uh, in my fight in Sydney, I was like the last page of my diary. I think I've said this before. It was the, the night before my fight. It was the last fight, um, last page of my diary, and I was just like, um, I couldn't see any goals for with the UFC anymore. And I think that's when I decided. And I was like, if I die tomorrow, this will be a good way to go out. And like that was my first time experiencing being prepared to die in the ring. Yeah. Wow. And um. Like from then on, I felt so free in that fight that I was yeah. like, oh, this is how you're supposed to be. And I was like, but I wrote like that, that is scary because I'm w uh, willing to die in these fights. Yeah. For like, no, not much money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. A true gladiator. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even imagine that mindset because oh, I've, yeah. I've not fought like at all, but. Just that mindset of being willing to die for like, you know, in the end it's a sport. Yeah. But I suppose you can't think of it that way because yeah. you're never going to get anywhere unless it's just like everything. Yeah. 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 It's fascinating. So how old are you now? 32. 32. You got fucking ages left. Yeah. Because man. I have thought of that like when I'm doing the boxing sparring with how much like head mm. punishment I'm just taking. I was like, ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. True. Yeah. Because yeah. the boxing you get yeah, in the head a lot sure. more. Hey? But, it's but at least you're starting late. So it's, like, <laughs> so, you know, yeah, it's not built up. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. Danny. Danny would be getting punched since he was yeah. 13. So yeah. it's like, you know, it makes sense for him not to want to sure. get hit anymore. Yeah, man. It's a different game. The fucking boxing and contact sport, man. You got to be built differently to be able to do that. So mm. props to you, man, because oh, it takes it. guts to get in the ring. Yeah. I appreciate um, it. What were you like as a, um, what, like growing up, did you get into biffs and shit at school? Uh, or did couple. everyone know just to... I oh, like you. You only have to get into like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like they felt bad or like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, um, like a, only a couple, man. Like um, especially I came up from a real martial arts background and like my dad was like, you can only fight if you get, if someone's getting bullied or you get like, yeah. do you know what I mean? It was yeah, more yeah. Like so that. you don't go around looking for fights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that martial arts like background, but like I definitely ended up in fights I wasn't supposed to as well. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, it was like, and then like one fight was like, a bit bad and then like never had to fight again after that yeah <laughs> yeah it's like need this guy in the head like 15 times and everyone was like i'm good yeah. <laughs> Plus like, cool. yeah. <laughs> he's cool and then um uh, yeah and then i'm um, like like and then i went to a private school after that and then that like it's not really much drama there and then i went to a selective school st mary senior for like academics so oh yeah yeah nice it's not really much fighting there as yeah. either so. yeah so. Well, there you go, eh? It's but, interesting, uh, you know, fighters usually get into less fights, like, you know, outside of the ring, obviously. Yeah. Because 
you know, of the discipline and also the, the damage they know that they could do. Yeah, that's not Thai, but there's like def- <laughs> there's definitely, there's, there's definitely def- different roads, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. And like uh, most, of the, most of the time what I felt like if there's a problem, man, it's like ego. It's like yeah. if I already know that I can beat you up, it's like if I then beat you up, that's like I've just that was just to prove to myself that like yeah you're yeah. like do you know what I mean that's yeah, just an ego. argument yeah yeah, okay. yeah so I was like most of the time I was just like I can get pushed pretty far before like I'll actually unless someone touches your face yeah <laughs> touches, <laughs> or, fam- or family so like after the yeah, gastro true. thing so that was um, in that order <laughs> yeah face first family second <laughs> <laughs> after the gastro thing because I was such high betting odds. Heaps of people got like lost because everyone was betting on me that he because he was short, um, like short notice fight, mm. and then I lost. They all lost their money, so they all want to reach out and like people were like talking about my wife or kids. And oh, then, oh come so on! Then like that's pretty much my limit. So yeah. like I uh, I would like find out where they live or like then I like one guy sent it and he had his dad's butcher shop. So I messaged the dad and told him to meet him with his son at the butcher shop. I was like trying to meet up with these guys. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Do they even more like, yeah, okay. Yeah, no, the, the dad's like, uh, we would never like represent that. Like um, I told my son, he said someone else messaged. I was like, mm, yeah, come sure on. Sure they Because did. you believe that, that's why your son's been a dickhead. Yeah, now, right? like, so, yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's like family's sort of the line for me. Yeah, you can say so, anything yeah, 100%. to me. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we never had it. Well, we got like, because we when for our little, little fight thing, we were... I think we we're paying like three dollars fifty most of the time. Mm. So then when we won, like yeah, we got the same like, oh you know you, you guys fucked my multi. You yeah yeah. My yeah. Multi. <laughs> like, it's just like, bro, it's crazy that people think that you care about that. I was yeah, like, right? I'm putting my life on the line, and you yeah, think yeah, I care yeah. about your hundred dollar multi, <laughs> right? It's like, and then people will ask you like, I'll get messages before like, do you reckon you'll win by submission or KO? It's like. <laughs> I just hope I didn't live. Like, yeah. <laughs> but it was I'm funny. pretty sure Lockie is one of those people. I'm pretty sure he asked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty oh, sure he told me. Yeah. This was one of the best things. Like, so Izzy, I'll show you off some of the photos off camera. But uh, Izzy taught me like uh, because he gets a lot of haters, right? So he, yeah. Like, yeah so and I guess the, the bigger the, you are, the more it happens. So he does. He was like, you go and you get like this receipts folder, and like you they screenshot them, but then you screenshot their photo. Like afterwards, like who wrote it, yeah. and then you sort of can like sort of feel better about yourself. Like, oh you, yeah, like, you know what I mean. The people the, dissing oh, yeah. out this yeah, hate, yeah, yeah. they've I'm got sorry. a lot of hate in them. They yeah. are like, like that guy. <laughs> yeah. He is the word hate. Like, yeah. yeah. Hate. But then because you, you look at it, normally you look at this and you go, <laughs> "Oh man, this yeah. guy knows me personally. He's saying this shit about me." But then you, is my oh yeah. Oh, but no, then no. you look at it. Um, Sad individuals. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you've Most got of the it. time, I'll write to them. I was like, "Brother, you must be having a bad day. Hope it gets better." And they're like, "I'm actually a big fan. Thank you for writing." Switches back. straight yeah, away. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Well, that's what I was yeah. saying to Danny. I, th- I reckon half the time they write something nasty because they think that that has a higher chance of you responding to it. Yeah. And then they just get off. Oh, I fucking reply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that that's part of that. I, th- I thought normally. I, I've experienced that when doing comments for you boys. If there was ever a hate comment, I'd always just reply very positively. And 99.9% of them will respond yeah. straight away with, oh, massive fan, actually love the content. And they'll just completely yeah, change yeah, yeah. their tone. <laughs> yeah. No one really holds that hate. That's yeah, weird. <laughs> Fucking pussy. And, uh, and, uh, yeah. and as you said, that like uh, whether they give you bad energy or good energy, they're still giving you energy. So it's up to you how you use it. Yeah. I can literally hear him saying that. Yeah. <laughs> like, he's yeah. quite philosophical, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Man, I learned a lot off of him yeah. when I was in the last two fight camps. It was actually like really positive for like, yeah. but not just in, as even Eugene, like the really, like that goes, and a lot of the guys in there, they're like that because of the, how the gym is. Yeah. So it's, how um, do you think that fight goes with him and DDP? I think, well, it's like um, you're biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm actually the worst at picking fights. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I can put, like positively say that besides the people that I'm biased against, if I pick a fight, you just pick the other person, you'll win the bet. <laughs> like that's how bad I am at it. <laughs> okay, we're betting on drinkers. <laughs> oh, no, without without not, not not people <laughs> without the bias. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's yeah. I'm, I was never good because I don't really watch much UFC. Oh, really? really? Yeah. It's so fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah, I like it. only people that when I know they're fighting, which is to my detriment as well. Like it's definitely a thing for IQ, mm. uh, which is interesting because I actually watch a lot of boxing. 
I think yeah, boxing. Yeah, I, I find boxing, boxing better to watch than UFC. Yeah, I love yeah, them okay. both. Yeah, I don't just know. Just fight sports no, in general. Well, nothing I love compares. them both, but I don't know. Maybe it was just like because I watch my opponents, but mm. I just wouldn't watch everyone. Mm. Like, yeah, I, I don't know what it was, but um, I, and actually with boxing, it's mostly people in my weight division as well. So yeah, I don't know. It's, um, any more How plans? Much do to you spar weigh? with Jai? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, right now, no, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. So like. <laughs> Still got a bit of concussion from last one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's, the, yeah. well, what's the goal with with a boxing? Like, like, are you thinking like world champ, or mm. so you want to go as big as as yeah. big as possible? You're like, not fucking around. Yeah, I, I, like I've got a plan. The, yeah. the, right now, it's just have to fight this guy in Australia. But yeah, yeah we've got a, we've got a we've got a um, I've got a bunch of dots that I need to connect to get to where I'm going, and this is the first dot. And it's That's like fucking exciting. Yeah, it's exciting. It's, I can't but wait. it's a very short road as well. Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm trying to do something that hasn't been done before and do it very quickly. Yeah. So Oh mate, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll we'll be supporting you. Yeah, so. man, bro, I'm so thankful for coming on here. I actually watch this all the time. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's awesome. I'm subscribed. Uh, check me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I've been watching this for years. You guys, Jamie, Jackson. I was sit at home. I probably watch that more than UFC. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh, that's, that's a small world. That's crazy. All we'll right, show well, you some website videos. Might change your mind. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this the one that you have to pay for? Yeah, 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 yeah I'm on that. Uh, nah, no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> You wouldn't. You wouldn't be here if you saw that. Yeah, yeah. Some, of those, some of those are pretty fucked up. But, um, all right, let's finish oh, off. Yeah. Um, of course, with a little segment where we um, <coughs> are going to get deep, with Tyson. Okay, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions from this random question generator. No, this is not bad. If you can choose anyone in the world, who would you want as a roommate? Ooh. Who's who? because <laughs> <laughs> for some reason my first thought was Mike Tyson and then I was like oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no I don't know oh, bro I have to bro if I've got to say my wife don't I yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking about it because I, yeah, I, no, I was like I yeah because I was about to say like do I pick a girl and I was like oh no I'm going to say my wife wait <laughs> Yeah, we'll edit it in a way that you immediately answer. Yeah, your thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question number two: What do you not regret most in life? Not regret. So I guess like um, the what are you most of proud regret? of? I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you got to say uh, why. Yeah, I think you're happy. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be like the worst question <laughs> ever. <laughs> we cut out the word "not." But what do you regret you know? most in life? <laughs> My wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not regret. Uh, probably my daughter. Yeah. 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 Having my daughter, that's been a life, so life changing. Retaught me how to love. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you, yeah. you hear that often. Yeah. Like yeah. I just, you don't, like I didn't even really think I knew what it was until I was like, you're looking at the baby and you're like, Oh shit, that's what it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, people wow. say that. Yeah. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, Until right? she like messes around and then you're just like, oh brother. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, wait till she's a teenager. I reckon because I've got yeah, a nine year old. Oh yeah. And so good like now, but I can yeah. just slowly see her turning into her attitude. Mom a bit. Yeah. Oh no. So it's gonna be like not the mum. Not two of them. My missus, yeah, she was a bit of a handful as a teenager, so I can <laughs> see yeah, it's gonna be interesting. But anyway. <clears throat> All right, last question. Which is more important? Natural talent, luck, or hard work? Hard work. Easy. Easy work. What so you hard work beats talent? Or in conjunction? When talent doesn't work hard. Yeah, okay. Mm, yeah. yeah. But I was a talented kid, like, but it wasn't. Uh, then I started figuring out like hard work and that I'm probably more hard working than I am talented now. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was that kid, like, oh, I can play every sport. And then you just start falling off when the hard workers keep going. Yeah. Like, you see, it with mm. so many, like, um, there's a lot of could have been great players out this way that just like don't keep working hard. It's a, you have to just turn up every single day. You have to put the time in there. Yeah. Every yeah. single day, yeah. whether you feel shit, whether you feel good. Yeah. And like, yeah. And you get like, I learned that a lot at City Kickboxing as well. It's like, <laughs> I had COVID and he was like, 
Eugene's like, if you don't test, you don't have it. And I was like <laughs> during bike camp, so I just like full on COVID, straight, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. training four times a day. It's like <laughs> <laughs> that's the way to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, I wish I, the world I, did that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, like I'd have neck injuries, or like I'd, I, I eventually stopped telling Eugene if I had anything, like because I just knew the answer. That's why I didn't tell him about the gastro as well. Well, yeah. that's it, I just tra- assumed, yeah. and then afterwards he was like, "You should have told me." I was like, "Now." <laughs> It's like every other thing is just yeah, like right. push on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our trainer's rule was like, you, no matter what, when he'd ask, "Are you tired?" You had to say no, even <laughs> yeah. though you're fucked. Yeah, it's like yeah. you can't complain. You just that's just, yeah, you, yeah. you got to no, get used to rule. being fucked. Yeah, that's a good yeah. rule. Yeah, it does help. Yeah. Condition the complaining you. just sucks. Yeah, you know, one likes hearing <laughs> someone. Yeah, no one we're complaining heads. about complaining. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, right, thank Tyson. you so much, gents. I appreciate it. No, thanks for coming awesome on, to have man. You on, man. And um, yeah, we'll be rooting for you in the boxing, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. We'll have can, to get you down there. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. That's, that's the plan. Danny said he's got your VIP tickets and stuff. So. Oh, shit. Really? I might have made it up, but <laughs> we, we can talk. <laughs> he did say, he so did say to me that he'll sort us yeah, out. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As long yeah. as we're there, we'll sit up the back. Yeah. But now that I've said there. it, Danny has to do it. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. It is on the record. Sweet, boys. All right, see you guys next week.